Mobile phones, particularly the smartphones that have become our inseparable companions today, are relatively new. However, the history of mobile phones goes as far back as 1983. As we continue in this video I will show you the full history and evolution of the cell phones, so ensure to watch to the end of this video. The evolution of the cell phone all started in 1983, when Dynatac 8000X was made. In 1983 the world got the first ever portable mobile phone in the shape of the Motorola Dynatac 8000X. It cost an eye-watering $4,000 and was a huge status symbol at the time. Two years later the first mobile phone call on UK soil was made, the then Vodafone chairman Sir Ernest Harrison, the lucky recipient. In 1992, Nokia 1011 was released. This GSM first launched in Europe 1991 with the Orbitel TPU 900 first to market, but it wasn't until 1992 that mobiles were no longer restricted to business use. Nokia was one of the first to take advantage of this transition, with the Nokia 1011 arriving that year. In 1997, Siemens S10 was made. Although it only offered four colors, the Siemens S10 brought mobile phone displays to life for the first time in 1997. The same year Haganook launched the Global Handy, the first device without an external aerial. Customization also kicked off in a big way with Ericsson offering swappable colored front keyboard panels. Later on in 2002, Sony Ericsson T68i was released. 1999 saw Nokia unveil the 7110 which was the first device to take advantage of WAP. A year later Sharp launched the world's very first camera phone, the JSH04. It was only available in Japan but signaled the start of the public's obsession with phone photography. However, it wasn't until 2002 and the release of the Sony Ericsson T68i and its clip-on camera, that Western markets started to take an interest in the camera phone. In 2006, BlackBerry Pearl 8100 was made. The implementation of 3G took download speeds up to 2 MBS in March 2003 with 3 the first to offer the service in the UK. RIM brought mobile email to the masses with its range of popular BlackBerry devices like the 8100 Pearl. Later on in 2007 iPhone 1 came out. Swiping and scrolling replaced the traditional button method of input. The LG Prada being the first touchscreen to market ahead of the Apple iPhone in May 2007. However, Apple proved to have both the stronger brand and superior knowledge of capacitive touchscreens potential. In 2014 we had Samsung Galaxy S5. Smartphones became increasingly central to modern life, offering much more than just communication features. The UK's first 4G service launched in 11 cities by E in 2012 taking download speeds up to 12 Mbps. Voice recognition became commonplace first with Google Voice before Apple launched Siri into the market. Samsung added a built-in heart rate monitor to their flagship Galaxy S5 to capitalize on growth in mobile health and fitness. Later on in 2016 iPhone 7 Plus was released. The global adoption of 4G vastly improves video streaming and video calling capabilities. Screen sizes continue to grow to maximize the experience of these features, with the iPhone 7 Plus display now 57% larger than the original iPhone from 2007. Mobile payments also emerge with Apple Pay and Android Pay offering users the possibility of buying things with their smartphone. In 2019 OnePlus 7 Pro was made. EE launches the UK's first 5G service in six cities throughout May 2019. The fifth-generation network promises vastly superior data speeds and reliability, boosting ultra-high-resolution video streaming and mobile gaming. Handset design trends continue to push for an all-screen experience, with OnePlus introducing the pop-up selfie camera to its flagship 7 Pro device to do away with the notch altogether. Apple released iPhone 11 Pro. At its fall 2019 event, Apple announced that the iPhone 11, 11 Pro, and 11 Pro Max was released on September 20. Pre-orders began on September 13. The camera has wide and ultra-wide lenses, rather than wide and telephoto like many people had predicted. This feature gives users the ability to adjust cropping and zooming after the photo is taken. There's also a new night mode that comes on automatically to brighten photos in low-light situations, and reduces noise. It also has a next-generation Smart HDR. QuickTake is a new video feature that makes it easier to take videos by long pressing on the camera button. 
video quality is 4K quality at 60 FPS, as well as slow-mo, time-lapse, and expanded dynamic range. In 2020, Samsung released Galaxy A series. Samsung is going all-in on budget phones with its new Galaxy A series lineup. And when we say budget, we mean downright cheap in some cases. We have yet to actually use these phones, though, so hopefully that's cheap in the best possible way. The 4G LTE lineup, which includes four phones, consists of the Galaxy A10, the Galaxy A11, the Galaxy A21 and the Galaxy A51. Finally, we have gotten to the end of this video. If you found value in this video, kindly like this video and share it with your friends. If you are new here, subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so that you will receive our videos immediately we upload. Thanks for watching.